Hello and welcome back to another episode of Overkill Trading. Today is November 9th, 2024. And in today's video, I want to take a little bit of a different approach and really focus on helping you guys understand how to build watch lists inside of TradingView. So watch lists, as you can see here, are just ways to keep your stuff organized, right? Your crypto and your stocks, what you're watching. I want to show you guys how I do it and how I think it could benefit you guys. Uh, in this video and by the end of it we will also have a bunch of stocks for this week that we will be able to keep an eye on and look for trade setups so if you guys are new to the channel we are swing traders we are not day traders we are longer term swing traders we focus on a monthly okay a monthly chart and a daily chart those are the two that we like to pay attention to the most and we have a very specific set of rules that you can find over here inside the discord the discord is free to join the link is in the description and pinned in the comment section below so like i said rule number one i just want to cover these really quick before we get into the watch list rule number one we are swing traders that focus on a monthly and daily chart okay we exit enter and exit positions using the trading indicator the trading indicator is just what you see down here on my screen Okay, this gives us the red and green dots. The red and green dots are our buy and sell signals. So what the red and green dots do is they tell us the direction of where we are going. So green means up and red means down. So this is a chart of Bitcoin. Okay, this is a monthly chart. You can see we're getting a green dot this month in November uh, of 2024. We called that out at the beginning of the week. And we got one back here on October of 2023. This was about a year ago. That came at about $27,000, $28,000, and it pumped all the way up to $73,000. So uh, that is right there, a 171% trade there. You had this green dot come, this one down here, come January 3rd. That was the bottom of the bear market. You can see this red dot came back in December, and we had about a year, year and a half of just going down. Then we got the green dot reversal. Once again, this was called out inside the Discord as well on January 1st, 2023, and then we ripped. So we are, we are, this thing is is calling our trades for us, right? We're not, we're not smart enough to predict where the market is going to reverse, up or down, but lucky for us, we have the trading indicator to let us know when the direction is in our favor. Because as traders, okay, we always want to be focused on the direction. Okay, as traders, if you're going to buy an asset, you want the chart to be going up and to the right. Okay, and it's super simple. How, how we tell what the direction is on this channel is simply on the monthly chart, we look for the green dot. Okay, and if it has a green dot on the monthly chart, therefore, the direction is going up. Okay, so the trading indicator is the most important thing that we focus on on this channel. Okay, I'm not sitting here, you know, calling out these ups and downs. And I've seen a lot of people having a lot of success in the Discord using the strategy. As of late, I know I've made close to 100% on my portfolio this year trading this strategy. So it works. And uh, it's not your general, you know, I'm going to day trade on the one minute, five minute chart. It's caught, takes a little bit more patience, but it is a lot more accurate. Okay, and yes, you can use the the uh, trading indicator on any chart. Here's a 15 minute chart, but you can see there's a bunch more signals. So the reason we focus on the monthly and the daily is because the more data, meaning the higher the time frame that you're looking at with the indicator, the more accurate it's going to be. Okay, so you have to wait a little bit longer to make your gains, but it's a lot less stressful. It's a lot less time consuming and it doesn't require you to be in front of your computer all day. Okay, so I'll get more into the strategy as this video goes on for those of you that are new. But the most important thing for us to understand is the direction. How do we know the direction? Well, we look at the monthly chart and we see what, what color is the dot? Is it green or is it red? If it's green, we're looking to buy it. Okay, when we get a green dot, that's when we focus in here on the daily. I told you guys uh, this month we had a, a green dot going off here on Bitcoin. You can see right there, November 1st. Okay, we got the signal, and the signals are all called out over here in the Discord if you guys are new, but it was called out somewhere in this big pile of, of, uh, of alerts this week. But you could see, right, we got the monthly dot. Okay, so therefore we are focused on a daily after we get the monthly confirmation because the monthly dot will give us the confirmation that, yes, the direction is up. Okay, so now we don't have to look at the monthly chart anymore That now that we know that the dot is green. Now we want to focus on a smaller time frame like the daily chart and look for a pullback. I typically like to look for at least four red candles in a row. Okay, 
when the stochastic RSI, this light blue line, is sitting here on the floor, that's also a good indication that the bottom is close. This was right before the election here, so this really could have went either way depending on who won. But you could see the green dot on the daily, so that's where we want to enter. Right, we want to enter on the daily dot. So your entry candle was right here at about 67 to 70, and that thing blasted all the way up to 76. Okay, so now we're just waiting for Bitcoin to either give us a red dot or top out here on the stochastic RSI. So the stochastic RSI is that light blue line that you see on the indicator. Okay, when that thing hits that that uh, white dotted line, just like it did back here, you can see we're probably just going to consolidate for a while. Right, so we want to wait for that thing to pull back, give us a green dot and then ride the trade up. So that's the strategy in a nutshell. Ideally, where we want to buy on a daily chart when this when this monthly dot is green. Okay, a great example of this this week was Tesla. And the reason I'm going over this real quick is just so you guys understand how I set up my, uh, my watch list here. It's going to help you uh, understand why. But you can see Tesla right here, July 1st. Okay, July 1st, we got that green dot on Tesla. You saw the green doji candle at 180. I mean, this thing's already up over 100% in the last six months off of that green dot. So uh, the monthly chart called this one out on Tesla, but you can see that came in July. So what we saw from July was it topped out here in September on the daily chart, right? It gave us the red dot here, okay? And what did it do? It sold off from 265 all the way down to 212, okay? But what did you see down here on Tesla? You saw a green dot. So you see this white line right here on the indicator? This When this blue wave is below that 40 line, okay, you can see negative 40 right here. That is when the asset is oversold. And that is what I'm looking for for setups, okay? I didn't typically want to buy uh, Bitcoin right here, okay? It, it, it was a nice trade, don't get me wrong, but I didn't typically want to buy this just because the wave wasn't down here, okay? When the, when the blue wave is down here giving you a green dot, that is the best time to buy on the daily chart, okay? And if the, if the last dot is green when that happens, those are epic setups, just like you saw here on Tesla. I mean, this Tesla setup was A1. Okay, it sold off, and then what happened? Okay, you're talking about 216 all the way up here to 330. That's a 53% move over the last, like, two or three weeks. So, uh, again, we want the green dot confirmation on the monthly. Okay, once you have the green dot confirmation on the monthly chart, you then in here on the daily. Okay, and you are looking for that green dot down here when the wave is below this 40 line. These are the best A1 setups you can get when you are swing trading. So the reason I just went over that is because it's very, very important when setting up my watch list. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this with you guys and show you exactly how I do this. Okay, and I don't I don't put everything in the red list uh, to begin with, but I'm going to do it just for the sake of this video. Okay, so I'm going to take everything that I have right? And I'm going to go ahead and put it in a red list. Okay. And the red list is just the list of names here. Is the list of names here that uh, are red on the monthly chart. Okay. It has a red dot on the monthly chart. So the red list are names that I'm not looking to buy, right? I'm not looking to buy anything that has a red dot on the monthly chart. Okay. Just so we're clear. Okay. If it's red on the monthly not looking to take the position because again, I don't want to buy when we're going down, right? I want to buy when we're going up. Okay, so how I how I filter this out is I'll just go ahead and, and uh, hit that really quick. So I have three different watch lists here at the top. And if you guys aren't familiar with uh, how to add stuff to a watch list, there's a bunch of different colors. So you see this flag right here next to the name of this. So this is SoFi. So you can see there's a there's a little flag right here. So what I can do is I can click on this and I can choose a color. I use three. I use the red, the blue, and the green, okay? So first and foremost, I'll just put this one in like the blue, the, the light blue list here really quick and show you guys how to organize this because I can get them here at the top of my, uh, at the top of my uh, lists up here and I'll show you how to do that. So if you click on this and you go to open list down here, because I just put that one in the light blue list so you can see there's no star next to it. So what I do is I star the ones that I use, right? I star the, uh, I don't know why the blue one's not starred, but uh, the, this Scion list here, I'll star it, and you can see it pops up right here, okay? And I can see SoFi right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in the red list really quick. But again, you just go here, and you hit open list, and then you can just hit the star, okay? So that way you don't have to hit that open list. You can just, boom, I can just toggle through these like this, right? 
So again, I use three of them. The three that I use are gonna be the red list, the blue list, and the green list. So whenever I'm doing my scan, and I'll do this once a week, okay, I'll do this on, this is Saturday. So I drop a video on YouTube every week of, you know, the 10 to 20 stocks that I'm watching going into next week, looking for positions on. Uh, I'll start with the red list. So what I'll do on the red list is I'll simply just come in here, and what I'll do is I'll scan it, okay? So if it has a green dot on the monthly chart, Okay, I will go ahead and put it into my uh, into my into my blue list, and then I'll work from the blue list over to the green list. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to scan through this, and if the dot is green on the monthly chart, I am going to move it over into my blue list. So Airbnb is red. Okay, PDD is red. Uh, Baba is green. So Bob's last dot is green. So I'm going to put that one for now in the blue list. And then we're going to go to the blue list once we're done scanning. Here's CRO. This one is still red, but you can see the candle is green here. So because the candle is green, I want to keep an eye on it. And actually the same thing there with Airbnb. So I'm going to put Airbnb. You see how it has a green, green candle. It's kind of reversing in that direction there. What I want to do is I want to put that in the blue list as well. So either a green candle or a green dot on the monthly chart, I am putting it into my blue list, okay? Here's SLI. This is a uh, lithium miner, also green, and the candle is green, so that one goes into the blue. Here's Baidu. So that one has a red, ca red candle, but the dot is green. So that one's going on the blue list. And Chinese stocks kind of took a toll last week. I think it's because Trump's presidency and Trump's going to put tariffs on them. Uh, here's AFIRM. This is AFRM. Here's NET. NET is also green. Uh, MATIC is red. NEO is green, but it has a red candle. I mean, you got to respect the dot. So we'll go ahead and put that one in the green list. Uh, here's ICP. ICP is still red. Uh, here is Snapchat. Snapchat's putting in a green candle here. I, I really like Snapchat. Uh, coming up here in the next few months. I think that's going to do really, really well. We've had a three, four month pullback and you're getting a green candle here. No dot yet, but uh, definitely a green candle there. So let's put that in the blue list. Uh, we got uh, CELH. This is Celsius Holdings. I thought this one was going to reverse up above 30, but we got ahead of ourselves. Uh, it looks like, again, still red. So again, we don't want to buy assets that are red and trending down. We want to wait for either a green dot or that first green candle there. So CELH is still red. Here's CAT. CAT is green. Okay, let's go on the blue list there. Here's CLF. CLF is red. Uh, Zcash is green. So we're putting that on the blue list. And Dell is going to be green on the... Uh, on the candle there, so that one's going in the blue list. Uh, H bar is still red. Silver is green. SLV, this is the Silver Trust. Okay, it's got the green dot and the green candle, so that one's going on the blue list. And this will all make sense to you guys here in just a second on how we look for setups when this happens. Okay, LIT is green. Uh, match. Match is, is green on the dot, but red on the candle. This thing got absolutely destroyed this week. Okay, on earnings, just freaking plummeted about 25% in two days. That's typically not that bad of a thing for traders, right? When something drops really big like that. The dot is green, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the blue list and keep an eye on it. Uh, here's X. This is uh, United States Steel Corporation. I think this thing's going to perform very well with Trump uh, being president because he is very pro-America and wanting to bring manufacturing back to the states. This one's going on the blue list. Uh, here's Ada Cardano. Okay, green candle there. No dot yet, but uh, definitely a green candle there. So we'll keep an eye on that one. That one's going on the blue list. Here's Filecoin, still red. Uh, Uber, got a red candle there and a red dot. Uh, Rocket Mortgage is red. Here's uh, Roblox is green. So that one's going on the blue list. And OXY. OXY is red. This is a uh, energy company. And again, energy companies, I think, could perform very well under Trump. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. But again, it's still red, so we're not going to pay attention to it. So the whole reason I'm going through the monthly chart first is just to get the names that are in an upward direction, right? Oxy, I don't want to watch Oxy uh, on a daily chart, OXY, 
on a daily chart because again, I don't want to buy things that are going down, guys. I want to buy things. I want to look for entries on things on the daily chart on things that are going up. Okay, so that one's still red. MU has a green candle here. So let's go ahead and put that one on the blue list. Uh, here's Google. Google's got a green monthly dot here. So that one's going on the blue list. We got Chainlink putting in a nice green doji candle there as well. That one's going on the blue list. Here's uh, EA. EA is just blasting off. Uh, green dot there and a green candle. That one's going on the blue list. Uh, this is UPS. UPS has a green dot but a red candle, but the green dot overrides the red candle. There. That one's going on the blue list. Here's AMD. AMD red candle. See, the reason I, I like to wait for the dot a lot of the times is because these green candles could go the other way on you if you don't have the dot. If you have the dot confirmation, it's much, much better than just having the uh, than just having the uh, green candle. So sometimes I go back and forth with that, but uh, AMD missed their earnings by a lot, which caused them to sell off really hard. So um, that one was looking really nice right here. But then again, once they miss their earnings, if a company misses their earnings, that causes them to go down a lot of the time. And that's what you saw there with AMD, and that one has a red candle. So uh, not gonna pay attention to that one. Adobe is red, uh, STX is red. Uh, here's INJ, that one's red. Uh, AMAT is red. Amazon is green, putting that one on the blue list. Uh, HIMS is green. HIMS looks good, that one's going green. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to put that on a green one. We gotta go on the blue first. So once we get through the red here, okay, we're gonna go to the blue list and then we're gonna look at the daily and we're gonna watch for the daily blue wave being below zero, okay? So, and if you guys need help scanning through stocks, like if you guys wanna look up stocks, TradingView has some really good built-in scanners here that you guys can use, okay? So this here is a scanner. What I like to do is, personally me, I like to try trade names, large cap names, Okay, from, from uh, 10 billion to 2 billion. I can go up, I, I, I do 10 billion and above normally. Okay, and that pulls up all the names with the $10 billion market cap and higher. So with the $10 billion market cap, um, these are like high liquidity names, right? They're, they're very, very liquid names. If you get below, right? If you, I mean, you can, you can trade mid caps or midders, they call them small caps. The lower the market cap, the higher the risk is it's going to be. So um, with that being said, personally, my personal preference, I like to trade large caps. Okay, large cap plus, meaning everything that has at least a 10 billion market cap and above. Uh, but there's a lot of different filters you guys can experiment with here in here, but I, I mostly just pay attention to market cap. That's that's it. You could also look for, for upcoming earnings. For example, I can look up uh, everything that has earnings coming up next week. Okay, and then I could take a look at all these charts. You can click on them. Okay, and if you hit the little flag over here, you can actually add it to whatever watch list you want. Again, I always start with the red list just because I like to make sure. And you can literally scan through all these stocks here. Okay, and you can see which ones, like if a, if a chart is setting up or uh, here's Disney, like Disney has a nice potential reversal come in here so I could add that one to my watch list. It's already on my watch list, but they have a, a nice crypto scanner as well. If you go over here to crypto coins, Okay, you can also, uh, I like to reset these filters. So you can search by DeFi names. I don't, I, I just like to remove those. I go, I go dead, uh, nothing on that. And the same, same thing here, okay, with the market caps. I don't like to trade crypto that is under a $1 billion market cap. So I normally go, uh, you can do a manual setup, okay? And you can do capital, capitalization. So I do, uh, I do about a billion when it comes to crypto. So that would be one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, bang. Okay, so here's everything with a billion dollar market cap or higher. Okay, everything that has a billion dollar market cap or higher. Okay, or you can go by rank. This is also good. I like to trade names that are in the top 100 on crypto. So this will tell you the top 100 by market cap here. And then you can see their performance. Another one I like to use is the technicals. So if you go based on the technicals, I just use technicals, it'll tell you. Okay, Bitcoin's a strong buy right now. And down here, okay, if you sort this by moving average, so I go sort by descending, okay, you can see the ones that are lagging. So you can see STX is lagging, you can see Optimism is lagging, you can see QNT is lagging. Let's actually check QNT here real quick. Okay, QNT is still red on the monthly, but I think that one's going to set up. I think these payment platforms are going to set up really, really nice here. 
Um, but yeah, you guys can experiment with that. There's a bunch of videos and stuff on it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I use the stock screener and the crypto screener, and I just encourage you guys to get in here. You know, you could do the top 200 in crypto. Okay, this is the top 200 by market cap. When you get below that, that's when you get into the really risky coins that do have the potential to go up very high, but they also have the, uh, the potential to lose you a lot of money. So that's why I personally like to stay within the top 100. Uh, when I'm scanning for crypto, it has all the big names, the liquid names, and uh, you know, you're not going to get killed on, on, a, on a pump and dump altcoin. So that's the, that's the screener right here on the screen on TradingView. And again, you can add those right into your watch list just directly from, from the screener. Okay, so that's the screener there. I wanted to cover that for you guys just in case you're having trouble finding names. But, um, you know, I've been trading for almost eight years now. So, um, you know, I have a lot of names that I'm already familiar with. Whenever someone calls them out in the Discord, whenever, you know, I hear about something, maybe on Twitter, I'll just add it into my watch list if I think it's interesting. And then I'll do, just perform this scan, this same exact uh, scan that I'm doing with you guys today, once a week. I normally do this on Saturdays, and I'll have my watch list for the week. And then come next week, I'll have to do my scan again and see how everything plays out. But um, yeah, this is this is uh, that's how you that's how you scan for stocks and, and cryptocurrency on TradingView. There, it's pretty easy and pretty pretty uh, a pretty nice feature that they offer there. So Adam, again, red on the monthly. Uh, here's NVIDIA. NVIDIA is green. I mean, I, I guess this thing's just never going to go down. I guess this thing's just absolutely never going to go down. I mean, if I were to buy it probably tomorrow, it'd probably just dump. But uh, that one's going on the blue. It's got a red dot. I mean, this this just doesn't even make sense anymore, guys. NVIDIA doesn't even make sense to me anymore. It's just, it's red, but it's just going up. Like, all the technicals on the, on the chart are absolutely just broken. So... Um, I did short that one pretty nicely a couple months ago, but uh, ever since then, it's just been absolutely just getting killed. So, um, or from the short, short standpoint, it's just been going up ever since. Uh, here's XLM. You can see this one's showing a green dot this month. I called this one out. This was the chart of the day the other day. Got the green dot signal. Again, these green dots on the monthly chart, you can see this one came back here in February of 2020. It was at five cents. It went all the way up to 80 cents. Okay. This one here is coming today on November 1st. These ones came back here. Didn't have as big of a move, but it's still $0.08 cents all the way up to 20 That's over 100% move there all the way to the top. So XLM is one of the most uh, I'm the most bullish on. That one's going in the blue list. Again, if the dot is green or the candle is green, it's going in the blue list. Okay, here's JNJ. That one's going on the blue list because of the green dot. This one looks like it wants to go the other way, though. This one will probably print a red dot here in December. Uh, here's Solana, also green here. So all major cryptocurrencies are, are green on the chart. So that's super bullish for cryptocurrency. Here's Super, also green dot on the monthly. Uh, here's FUBU, green dot and candle on the monthly. That one's going on the blue list. Microsoft is red. Uh, VeChain is red. Uh, Litecoin is green. Uh, we got Algorand still red. XTZ still red. Meta is green and ripping uh chewy chewy is green mara mara's got a green candle okay green reversal candle again you want to buy on those first either green candles or the names with the green dots those are the ones you're looking for okay mara looks good that's a that's a bitcoin miner bitcoin is obviously green here's math math has a green candle uh crowd showed up with the monthly dot here uh, that was that was on Friday, I believe. That one's going in the blue list. Uh, and again, guys, our alerts are called out over here. If, if you're in the Discord, you can see Coinbase gave one yesterday on the monthly chart. Airbnb gave one yesterday on the monthly or two days ago on the monthly chart. CrowdStrike gave one the same day right there on the monthly chart. XLM gave one the same day right there on the monthly chart. So if you guys are members of the Discord, you, these are called out over here when they happen. And again, I'm the most the monthly dot is the most bullish signal you can get in any technical pattern any technical indicator you name it it is the most bullish indication that you can get for a trade is a monthly green dot okay and then all you got to do is just wait okay these these moves take months to play out not minutes so a lot of people just aren't patient but if you're patient enough to buy right and hold these dots it can make you rich <laughs> it could definitely make you rich folks so uh apple is red uh jasmine still red netflix is green Near is red. 
MSTR is green, just absolutely flying. Uh, Intel, someone called this one out this week. I like the doji candle here on the reversal. Okay, that one's going on the blue list. Uh, AVGO is... <laughs> I should not qualify these with a red dot, but they have green candles, so um, fair enough. Okay, that one's going on the blue list. XOM is green. Okay, XOM is green. Cisco has earnings this week, also is green. Uh, AVAX is also putting a green candle here, so we got to be bullish on it. We got uh, new... Again, some of these some of these just don't make sense, right? Got a red, got a red monthly, but a green candle. Again, because the candle is green, I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, here's Ford. Ford is red. Disney is uh, got a green candle. Okay, that one looks like it wants to flip here. Looks like it's got earnings next week too. Looks like on Thursday. Here's QMT red. Uh, we got AI green. This was one of my favorite. This was uh, from the watch list last week. Again, green monthly, bullish. Okay, that's an AI stock right there that I think has a lot of potential. We got uh, QNT. We just covered that one was still red as well. We got FANG red. Some of these energy plays, though, I think are going to do very, very well uh, with Trump in office. So we're keeping an eye on those. Uh, potentially for green dots on the monthly chart. That's where we're going to want to act. Here's uh, SEI. No monthly data on this yet, and it's got a red candle. But that, I, I mean, I was in that one at like 37 cents. It flushed down, uh, hit my stop loss, and now it's pumping back up. But uh, you can't win them all, right? You can't win every trade. Nothing is 100%. I think this strategy is anywhere from 75 to 85% accurate if you're using it to the T. Okay, here's Spotify, got a green candle there. Uh, AXP, got a green candle. Here's GoDaddy, got a green candle. Uh, Wolf, got a green candle and a green dot. Uh, Lyft, Lyft looks really good. They crushed their earnings yesterday or last week. Beautiful, beautiful crush. Looks like they got some news too. 16% increase in gross bookings to 4.2 billion and 24 million active users. Wow. Okay, but we announced a partnership with DoorDash as well. So uh, Lyft is looking good there. Green Dot showing up this month. I love that. Uh, Swift is still red. BX is got a green candle there. Here's Visa. Visa is also green. Uh, BCH putting in a green doji, nice green doji reversal candle there, just like you got back here. Boom, that came at $121. It went all the way up to $741. Merry Christmas. Here's ALB. ALB's got a green candle and a green dot. This is another lithium play. Here's MO. Okay, green dot, green candle. That one's on the blue list. Here's CMG. This one's green on the, uh, on the monthly, so again, not a dot, but it's got the green candle there. We got, uh, what is this, DAL, also green. This is the airlines. Here's FedEx, putting in a green reversal candle there. We got Shiba, also green candle there. Okay, you guys are seeing crypto just getting ready to roar. Uh, we got, what is this, uh, Walmart, just doing the ripski here. That one's got a red dot. Uh, I, I don't want to trade it. I don't want to trade the red dots on the monthly, especially when they're showing up this week. And that's got earnings this week as well. Uh, here's PLNTR. That one's got a green dot and a green candle. We got Carvana just ripping. We got uh, MA MasterCard just ripping. We got T AT and T also green. We got Polka Dot red. Oracle green. We got Zoom. We got Zoom green. Okay, Zoom looks really good. Uh, HD, Home Depot, green. Green dot and green candle. Uh, we got CCL. CCL is green. TMUS, this is T-Mobile, green. Uh, I did dot. Uh, UNH, green. Zillow, bust in their earnings, dude. Bust in their earnings. We called this one out as well. Right around here at 59. 
Okay, look at that green dot right there below the zero. What did we do? We just simply identified the monthly dot, which came in July, and then we waited for a pullback. Okay, we waited for a pullback, pull it back. Okay, green dot, I'm in right here at 59, rip all the way up to 75. Beautiful trade there on Zillow. Okay, and that one is still green. Okay, Shopify, Shopify is also green. Uh, here's AMT, red. Uh, PayPal is green. Flare, red. Uh, ASTS, red. Ethereum is green. Breaking 3K today. Beautiful. Uh, here's also DKNG. Looks like they missed their earnings and they went up. So I'm not really sure how that works, but uh, they got a green candle, so we're going to keep an eye on it. Here's uh, Dogecoin, D-O-G-E, Dogecoin. Sorry, not Dodge, it's Dogecoin. I had everybody on TikTok about ready to rip my head off because I called it Dogecoin. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares how the hell I pronounce it? Let's look at the technicals. I mean, look at this. This thing is set up so many times. This green dot came back here in October. We called that thing out at 11, 12 cents. It's sitting at uh, 20%. So most people are all concerned about the... What, how I'm pronouncing it, but dude, if you guys would have entered on that candle there, you'd be up almost 100% on your on your trade. <clears throat> okay, the monthly came. We got the pullback here. We got a little pullback here. Okay, got a pullback here. Okay, you entered here. You entered here. Okay, and rode the wave, baby. And I don't think Dogecoin's done, dude. I think this thing is just getting started. I don't think there's anything holding that back from going to 50 cents there. So we're keeping an eye on Doge. Uh, red on GME. We got Riot Blockchain, green dot, beautiful green dot. I saw someone was up like 253% on their options on this trade. Beautiful, beautiful looking chart there. Uh, IMX is still red. Uh, CRM is still is green. You got uh, SOUN is green. You got Hood. Okay, we got a few more names, and then we're going to look at daily charts. Okay, so uh, Hood is green. Okay, so that's going on the blue list. We got CLSK putting in a doji. This is another crypto miner. Okay, that one's also got a green candle there. PLTR just absolutely exploding here. Okay, I'd be careful on PLTR. Okay, I wouldn't be going long. We don't buy up here. Okay, we don't buy up here. Stupid. Okay, you don't want to get crushed. Okay, you don't want to get crushed. Look at the cheat sheet. Okay, everyone's talking about it, right? Everyone's talking about it. Boom, get crushed. Okay, there will be a drop on PLTR. I'd be taking profits if I was if I was in PLTR right now. Uh, same thing with GE here. This is GE Aerospace or whatever the hell, hell it's called. Uh, here's a LLY is red. J Blue has got a green dot but a red candle. That thing's had a nice move. That was my favorite trade from a couple days ago that was called out, or I think it was last week that was called out inside the Discord. Beautiful looking trade set up there on the daily. We'll get to that one. Rivian's still red. You got Coinbase giving you the monthly green dot. Coinbase looks like it wants to freaking explode. We're buying any and every pullback on Coinbase for the next few months. Uh, Rivian's still red. Uh, Ave still uh, is green. Uh, we got GME. Green dot on GME here, folks. Okay, and that was called out in the Discord as well. This one looks like it wants to, to, to fly as well. Okay, you're seeing GME right there. That might be the chart of the day today. GME. Okay, here's uh, SUI. That one's got a green candle. Let's put that one on the blue list. Tesla's obviously green here. Uh, HNT is red. DJT is green. This is uh, Donald Trump's media company. And last but not least, we got SoFi, which is green and breaking out really, really big here. Okay, so what we just did was we scanned through our entire watch list, right? Every stock and cryptocurrency that is on my watch list, we just scanned through. And the first thing was to scan through the monthly charts to make sure either the, the candle or the dot was green, okay? And then over here is where we will now zoom into the daily chart. And what we are looking for is this blue wave here. I want this blue wave to be below zero, okay? Because I want to keep an eye on it this week. So BABA would qualify here because again, BABA has a green monthly dot and the wave, this blue wave is way down here. And this thing's being manipulated heavily. I honestly don't think I want to pay attention to Chinese stocks at the moment because I don't know how they're going to react to a Trump presidency. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on the green uh, list just for the sake of this video. And we got CRO. So you see how CRO, the wave, is already above zero. 
So in my my personal opinion and experience is I want to buy back down here, right? Now that we're seeing the breakout on the monthly chart, wonderful, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to wait for a pullback, at least a four red candle pullback. I'm not going to buy something that's up one, two, three, four days in a row, right? I want to buy that pullback, right? That pullback into our Bollinger Bands. I don't know why those aren't on right now, but either into this blue line here, okay? That's typically where I'm wanting to buy. So just because the candle is green on the monthly or the dot is green on the monthly doesn't mean I want to rush into the trade, right? We want to wait for the daily to pull back here now, this blue wave to pull back here and give us a green dot. So that's what we're looking for. So if this blue wave is below zero, I move it over to my green list, okay? So you can see Airbnb is red, okay? I want to wait for that thing to pull back. SLI, okay, that's pretty close. That's pretty close with the stochastic on the floor. So that one goes in the green list. Baidu, okay, red dot, but again, where's the wave? The wave is below zero, so I want to keep an eye on it. A firm, okay, above, don't want to, don't want to touch it. Uh, net above, don't want to touch it. Uh, Neo is still uh, down here, so again, on the green list. Here's Snap, okay, too extended for me. Uh, Cat, too extended for me, okay. Again, Cat's going to be way up here. Looks like they missed their earnings and they blasted off there. Let's wait for that thing to come back. So again, this set up really nicely here. November 5th, 380, pumped all the way up to 420. Beautiful trade. But again, with the stochastic RSI way up here and the blue wave now above zero, we're too late to the party. Okay, here's Zcash. Again, ripping. Okay, ripping. Okay, we want to wait for the pullback. Uh, here's silver. So silver is down here below the zero line. You guys see that? Silver is down there below the zero line. So that's going on the green list. Here's Dell. Again, up six days in a row. I don't want to trade it. Okay, I want to wait for this four-day pullback. One, two, three, four. Boom. There's my entry candle. Okay, there's the green dot and rip. Here's LIT. LIT is above the, the bar. Here's match. Match is below. Match is below with a green dot on the monthly chart. And this thing sold off really hard on earnings. They even beat their earnings. Okay, they even beat their earnings. They missed on revenue. But they sold off really hard last week. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. That one's going on the green list. Here's a X. Again, too far extended on the daily. Uh, we got Ada Cardano. Again, up one, two, three, four days in a row. Everyone's super excited to buy it. Okay, let's wait for a pullback. Pullbacks always come, folks. I don't care who you are or what you do. These markets don't go straight up and down. They go in waves. Okay, we want to buy this down here. Okay, and we want to sell the rip, right? We want to sell up in this area and, and be buying down here. Okay, you're buying down here at $40. You're selling up here at $54. That's, that's how you trade, folks. It's really that simple. Buy low, sell high. And Roblox is way up here, so we're not going to be watching it this week. Okay, so the reason we have the blue list is just because we know that these things have very strong trends, right? The monthly dot is green or the monthly candle is green. But we want those to line up with the daily. Okay, MU, you could have bought right here at 100 bucks. Boom, you'd already be up 10%. But right now, the stochastic is already up here. Okay, the blue wave is already over the zero line. In my opinion, we're too late to the party. Okay, so this one's going to stay on the blue list. Here's Google. That one's still green. Uh, Link, again, too extended. Uh, EA, too extended. UPS is down below zero. So I'm adding that one to the green list. So if the blue wave is below this line right here at zero, it's going on the green list. And there's honestly not a lot of opportunities this week just because we've already ran so hard. That Trump election, I mean, that just sent the markets parabolic. Okay, so look at Amazon. Okay, Amazon's just way up here. When was the last time the blue wave was way up here? It was back here in September. It was at 195. It pulled all the way back to 180. Now, now Amazon being the big, large market cap that it is, right, it doesn't move as big, right? But we want to move, we want to trade a move like this Okay, or even better, like this. This is what you're seeing right now on uh, Match. We just went over MTCH. That's the dating app, uh, Tinder, and all those dating apps. They are the owners of those. So on Match, what I'm looking for is like a green dot, or a green candle and a green dot. Okay, and then we're going to ride that wave all the way back up. So Amazon looks really strong here, but again, we're going to wait for a pullback. Okay, we can be patient as traders. We can be patient. Uh, Hims is above. Uh, NVIDIA is above. NVIDIA is just insane. Okay. Absolutely insane. 
Uh, here's XLM, still overextended here. Uh, JNJ, I don't know how good this thing's going to do with... Uh, I think they're going after all these drug companies, to be honest with you guys. But I'll put that one in the green list just to watch for the green dot this week. Okay, and then again, on the days where we enter, we're entering either on the green dot or that first green candle on the daily when the wave is down here. That's also part of the trading rules over here. Okay, you guys can come over here and you guys get free access to these. Okay, we only buy on days with a green dot on the daily chart. So green dot, I should say green dot or green candle on the daily chart. Okay, you can see right here, J and J, boom. Entry candle right here at uh, 141, followed with a green dot. Thing ripped all the way up to 180. Okay, so the thing you want to look for on the daily is either this stochastic RSI right here. You want that thing to be down here. Okay, just like it was. Okay, you saw Solana pulled back for one, two, three, four, five, six days last week. Okay, and then what happened? Okay, the stochastic hit the floor. You got the green dot after the presidential election, and then you ripped all the way up to 206. So again, I don't like to buy it when we're up five or six candles, just because I know one of these is going to come eventually. Okay, and I don't want to be a part of it when it does. Okay, if you're buying up here, you're buying when everyone else is already talking about it. I'm not saying crypto can't rip and go to the moon here because it really could, but I'm already positioned luckily for that move if it happens. Okay, but again, I don't want to, we don't want to take positions or look to take positions on assets when the stochastic is up here at the blue line. We want to wait for that pullback. Okay, we want to wait for the wave to get below here and ideally give us a green dot down here below the white dotted line, just like it did right here at $128. Okay, that thing pumped all the way up to 162. Nice trade. Pull back, pump up, pull back, pump up. Rinse and repeat. Okay, so again, two extended for me here. Here's Super. Super's still green. It's got a red candle today. Um, let's put that one in there. Why not? Uh, FUBU is actually going to be one of my favorite setups this week. I already took a look at this stock earlier. But uh, again, green monthly candle here. And you need to go into the log on this one, I believe, to look at the chart and take off the Bollinger Bands just because this thing was at $60 and it sold all the way off to a buck. But I know the fundamentals of FUBU. I use FUBU. It's a streaming platform where you can get all the sports. Uh, I think they're a very, very credible company. They've been beating their earnings for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months or seven quarters. The last dot is green. Okay. And on the daily chart right now, you can see that we are down here below the zero line. All we're missing is a green dot. Okay. We're missing the green dot. So I think this thing is going to set up really nicely. You can see it has a pretty nice support level right here at 136. But that one's on the green list because, again, we're going to watch that this week. So throughout the week, I'm not watching anything on this blue list or this red list. Just because I know it's already, right, it's either it's a red monthly or it's already had a, a pretty big move to the upside. Okay, so if it's four, five, six, seven candles up, right, up, I, I'm not jumping in here. Okay, I'm not jumping in here. I want to wait for a pullback. Okay, I want to wait till this blue wave comes back down here and gives me a green dot. We are entering on green dots only, okay, on the daily chart. Uh, here's Litecoin, also up one, two, three, four. Don't want to touch it. Uh, Meta already up. Okay, that one, that one could run. Looks like they beat their earnings. They crushed their earnings. Okay, that one looks. This one looks decent. Doesn't look as bad. If we get a big, uh, big pullback on Monday or Tuesday or something, that might. Be, this one might be worth a look. We'll put that one in the green list. Uh, here's Chewy. Chewy, again, we have crossed over. Okay, we don't want to buy that. Uh, Mara, we have crossed over. Don't want to buy it. Uh, BTC, still up. Uh, here's Math. Okay, we could keep an eye on that one. Here's CrowdStrike, already up over. Uh, Netflix, already up over. Monster, uh, just absolutely ripping here. Again, you can see when the stochastic is down here on the floor, boom, could have been taking entries right there at 230. I think if Trump would have lost the election, these these cryptos and these crypto stocks would have got absolutely destroyed. So that was obviously a gamble, but uh, for whoever got in on it, you know, it paid off very well. Here's Intel, again, too far up here. Okay, again, we want to be buying down in this area, down in this area. Uh, AG, AVGO, again, another example. November 5th, you should have been buying right here at 170. Uh, XOM, sitting right on the zero line here. Uh, Cisco, nope. Neo, or new, NU. Okay, last dot is green. And by the way, 
right? You want to use a stop loss as well. Okay, 1450 always at the bottom of the first green candle that you're getting the dot on. This one looks interesting, but uh, again, not below the zero line. Uh, Disney got earnings this week, not below the zero line. AI, not below the zero line. Uh, AXP, this is American, American Express, not below the zero line. GDB, that's GoDaddy, not below the zero line. Wolf, not below the zero line. Lyft, not below the zero line. BX, nope. Visa, nope. Uh, BCH, this one just crossing over. Uh, let's keep an eye on that. Why not? It's it's not below the zero. Again, the green dot already came. So if the green dot already came, we're already late to the party. If you're a day late, you're late. So reverse that. Let's go back to blue on that. Uh, ALB. This one's consolidating very nicely. It looks like they just had their earnings and they missed by an absolute freaking mile. They missed by a ton. Okay, a ton. So uh, that's an interesting trade there. But again, looking for the blue wave down here. MO, nah. CMG, this is uh, Chipotle. That one's still below zero. The wave is still below zero on that. Uh, where are we? Ooh. Uh, Dow? Do we look at Dow? ALB, MO. Yeah, red. Okay. Nope. 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 HD don't look bad. Home Depot. But they got earnings also on Tuesday. So be, be cautious of that. Be cautious of Home Depot, but that one is still below zero. And it's got a nice 2% candle there. So again, you'd be playing the level all the way down to 390. So if it pulled back to like 3, like 97, maybe pull the trigger there. But uh, again, you want to enter the day of the green dot. So everything is green right now on the daily charts. So um, there's just not going to be a lot of setups this week, I don't think, for, for entries. Right? Zillow had a massive move off its green dot down here. This was the perfect entry candle right there on... That was October, that was November 1st at 59. That was a beautiful trade. That was a 30% trade right there. Shopify, same thing. Where the dot com, boom, right there, 78. It's up at 90 now. Okay, that's a 10, 15% move. Here's PayPal. Again, just missed it. ETH, we missed it. We didn't miss it. I mean, all these were called out in the Discord. There's just not going to be a lot of setups this week, I don't think, guys. Like, it's just one of those weeks where everything's going parabolic, and hopefully you were positioned before it all happened. Here's CLSK. Okay, this is one I'd want to keep an eye on this week, just because the stochastic isn't quite up here at the white dotted line yet. Uh, we got SOUN. Nice move. Again, green dot. Rip. Okay, hood. Green dot. Rip. PLTR, still just, I'd take it profits on PLTR up here at 58. Okay, if you're a trader, if you want to hold it forever, be my guest. JBlue is still one of my favorite trade setups. Okay, we called this green doji out right here. Again, what do we see here? A nice one, two, three, four bar pullback. See, a lot of the charts right now are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, green bars. We don't like to buy after that. We like to buy after something like this. Okay, that's a complete flushing right there. Okay, we called this one out at around 577. Okay, I said, this is my favorite trade right now. Okay, it's sitting up here at 634, and I think that one's still got some room to run. Okay, look to sell this one when the stochastic RSI, this light blue line, comes up here and hits this white dotted line. Okay, PLTR we talked about. Again, Coinbase already moved. Okay, the move already happened. Okay, where's the stochastic here? It's up at the top. GME blasting off here. Okay, but where are we at? We're already, I mean, this thing could absolutely go parabolic over the next couple of months with this green doji and green dot setting up here on GME. So uh, keep an eye on that one, but I want to buy a pullback on it, right? I want to buy, boom, down here, right? October 25th, $20, did the rippity dippity. SUI, nope. Tesla, nope. DJT, this is one we want to watch. Okay, again. Red, we're going down right now on the daily. But where are we on the monthly? We're green on the monthly, right? So this thing hit a low of, I believe, 20, 26. Okay, we need that green dot. Um, probably being here on the hourly, trying to pinpoint your entries like this, November 8th. Boom, there was the reversal at 28. Bang, right? 33 bucks. That was a ripper there. We'll watch that one this week. Uh, we also got SoFi. 
Again, just doing the rippity dippity, and we already covered BCH. So the watch list for this week, not a lot of names, not a lot of opportunities, uh, but this is what we got on the watch list this week. I am currently only holding XRP. Uh, I'm just super bullish on cryptocurrency right now, right? The weekly's reversing. The monthly's red on XRP, but the daily looks like it's getting ready to go here. Again, I'm just holding my position till I get a red dot, and then I'll look to take some off when that happens. <clears throat> But uh, I, I'm just bullish more on the fundamentals than anything. And then FUBU is probably my favorite stock for this week. Uh, i just be watching for that green dot. Silver also looks good. You got some of these Chinese stocks, but I just don't know how those are going to move under Trump's presidency. Uh, CLSK, uh, that one's already up like 25% last week, but it might still have some room to run. And I still think JBlue uh, is a really good trade. Okay, If you can get a, a pullback on that come Monday, like down to 6 I think that'd be a good entry. And then DJT, okay, selling off here. So just wait for that green dot or wait for that green candle. Okay, the first green candle. If DJT sells off here big, okay, again, you just want to wait for the green candle. You're hoping for one of these moves, right? One, two, three, four, five, six candles down, green candle, enter, rip it. Okay, DJT had a massive move from October to November. That was a 300, 319% move. You saw on the weekly chart, it called the bottom perfectly here. September 30th, that doji candle came with the green dot. And that was a 300% move all the way up to $60. So there's the watch list for this week. Again, not a whole lot of setups just because everything has already taken off. But I really wanted to go over how to set up these watch lists, how to use uh, how to use them to your advantage if you're using the overkill strategy, the overkill trading rules. Again, you want to start on the red list. Look for the green dots or the green candles, move them over to here, and you want to scan these for uh, the charts on the daily that look oversold, right, that, that have the blue wave down here, just like every single name on here, right, FUBU, way down here, okay, J Blue down here, okay, that's where you want to be entering, and we want to be selling up in this area. If you guys got any questions or need anything, feel free to holler at me, shoot me an email. My email is right over here inside the Discord under the server rules. It is overkill at overkillinvesting.club. You guys can download the trading indicator that we talked about today by clicking this link. It literally takes two clicks and you are then into trading view with everything that you see on my screen. You'll also get the Bollinger Bands as well. Okay, those are the those are these uh, red and blue lines with the 30 day EMA. Ideally, with those, you want to buy the bounces off the green lines. If you could line that up with a green dot, that's an epic entry, just like you got here on J Blue. And then the red line is where you want to sell up into. Okay, you guys, got any questions about that? Feel free to email me. If you're a member, you're able to chat over here with our members. Okay, and you can ask questions and things like that and connect with other like minded investors. The Discord is free to join. You guys can click that link down in the description and uh, check out past videos in the latest tab here. Okay, you guys can see all my latest videos dropping here on YouTube. I'm dropping probably two to three a week right now. And then we got shorts and stuff going out, charts of the day on TikTok, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and you name it. We also got market news dropping 76K Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum just passed the market cap of Bank of America. That is absolutely insane. And I'll go ahead and drop the watch list this week right here uh, in the watch list thread for those of you that are members. If you guys got chart requests throughout the week, feel free to drop them over here inside the chart request thread, and I will cover them in a future video. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this. Hope you guys have a good weekend. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.